Good Sunday morning, brothers and sisters. Anyone who distorts the gospel of Jesus Christ is accursed. The Apostle Paul spent his entire ministry proclaiming, defending, and contending for the purity of God's gospel. When the gospel first came under attack in the Galatian churches, Paul responded with righteous anger and indignation towards the false teachers because so much was at stake. He issued a severe warning and then repeated himself so there would be no misunderstanding. As we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, he is to be accursed. Galatians 1.9 This is as harsh as God's inspired word ever gets, pronouncing a damning curse on anyone who distorts or alters his gospel. Nothing can be added to God's gospel. Paul pronounced the damning curse on the Judaizers, who only professed to believe in the person and work of Christ, but were distorting his gospel by adding something to it. These false teachers were requiring Gentiles to become Jewish proselytes and obey the Mosaic law to be saved. They were nullifying God's saving grace by adding religious rules and rituals as requirements for salvation. They were insulting the Lord Jesus by adding to his perfect, all-sufficient work of redemption. Paul soundly rebuked the Judaizers when he wrote, We know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Galatians 2.16 Is the Roman Catholic clergy accursed? There are many perversions of God's gospel today. However, the greatest of all distortions is the false and fatal gospel of the Roman Catholic Church. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the following six requirements have been added to the gospel and are necessary for Catholics to be saved. Baptism, Catechism 1256. Sacraments, Catechism 1129. Good works, Catechism 1477. The Sacrifice of the Mass, Catechism 2180, Penance, Catechism 980, and Keeping the Law, Catechism 2068. According to God's inspired infallible word, every Roman Catholic Pope, Cardinal, Bishop, and Priest is under a divine curse for teaching a distorted gospel. They are all included in Paul's divinely inspired anathema. Even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. Galatians 1.8 Catholics must be warned that their clergy is condemned by the one true God. No one should believe the uninspired words of men unless they conform to the inspired word of God. Now what does it mean to be accursed? In Galatians 1.8-9, the word accursed is the Greek word anathema. It means to be turned over to God for destruction. God's word is pronouncing a damning curse on anyone who distorts or alters his gospel. If you add anything to the gospel or take anything away from the gospel, you are to be turned over to God for destruction. Those who teach any way of salvation other than the perfect, all-sufficient work of Jesus Christ alone are accursed. The Lord Jesus describes what it means to be accursed in Matthew 25, 41. He said, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. To be cursed is to be put away from the presence of Christ and thrown into the eternal fire prepared for the devil. Christians must not tolerate any false gospels. Most of our Christian leaders are rightfully exposing Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, and Muslims as false teachers, but we can only wonder why they are not denouncing the false teachers of Roman Catholicism. Have they considered Paul's question, For am I now seeking the favor of men or of God? Or am I striving to please men? If I were still trying to please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Galatians 1.10 Paul's admonition is clear. If we tolerate any false gospel, we are not pleasing our Lord. Christians cannot be yoked with unbelievers. 
Paul did not seek unity with the Judaizers, who believed in Jesus but were distorting his gospel. He was outraged because they were confusing the Galatian believers. Paul was amazed and astonished that Christians were tolerating a false gospel and not resisting the Judaizers. We see the same thing happening today. Many Christians are tolerating false gospels. Instead of exposing the false and fatal gospel of Catholicism, they are seeking unity with the Roman Catholics to fight the social, moral, and political wars. We must obey God's word. Do not be bound together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians 6.14 We must rescue those who are deceived. Satan's most popular and destructive lie is that salvation can be merited by good works. All of the different faiths in the world, there are only really two. One is by grace through divine accomplishment. The other is by works through human achievement. One is based on what Jesus Christ has done. The other is what man must do. People will never know they are deceived unless or until they are confronted by the truth. As truth bearers, we must rescue those who are perishing by speaking the truth in love. We must call Catholics and others who are trapped in religious deception to repent of their false and fatal gospel and to believe God's gospel. Mark 1.15 God bless.